Hey everybody! Welcome back to another video. Merry Christmas, everybody! Uh, I decided to have a little video posted on Christmas Day for everyone with a nice little speed paint in the background. Uh, hopefully everyone likes it. I couldn't help it. Uh, I, I love Tree and his little family and the Broken Code so much. So I decided to do this little piece on uh, just a just a fun little spin. It's totally fake, obviously, but it just was fun to make. So hopefully you like it, and hopefully you like listening to me talk while I uh, draw this piece. So here we go. I decided to do this video. Uh, this will technically be a spin the wheel, but here we go. I decided to, instead of doing tree or root spring or needle claw as a character corner at the moment, I decided to instead talk about Sky Clan as a whole. I want to do some really in-depth analysis later on on about clan culture in the different clans. Um, like, how they respond to their different leaders, uh, th their how they operate in different customs, and that kind of thing. Uh, I, I want to do that as a, a little mini-series of Spin the Wheels later on. But for now, I really felt like I needed to make another video on... Sky Clan as a whole, because Sky Clan is uh, not handled the best, in my opinion, in the Warrior Cat series. I do like the payoff that came. Uh, having a Sky Clan at the lake now is wonderful. It's great to have a clan that's new and fresh, and I think it's cool that they're a very open clan. Uh, I appreciate that. Like, I don't think that's just Leaf Star, because uh, as you know, it's. I don't like Leaf Star at all. I, I think she's a terrible leader, but as you know, uh, I do like clans when they work together well and they're peaceful and they are open. So I do like that about Sky Clan. I guess my biggest problem comes down to how Sky Clan was handled overall in the series. I started the series with Sky Clan. I started the se Warrior Cats when the Broken Code first came out. So. Even then, when I had to work through every book, and I did do that, every single book, it took me about a year and a half, but when I read every book, I still felt like the Sky Clan thing was just not paying off for me. I did love Sky Clan and Dawn of the Clans, but I found myself really exhausted and really frustrated with the direction that it was going. So, I've come up with a solution that I feel like might solve that problem, and I'm going to talk about my thoughts first a little bit before I get there. For, for First of all, I did want to say that I think having the scandal of an exiled clan is so fascinating. I love that aspect, so that was a genius move, I think. It adds a little bit of intrigue and the possibility that, yes, clans can get pushed out like Wayne Clan was in the first book, but also never come back. You know, it makes things seem fragile, and who knows, you know, maybe that could happen, you know? I like that aspect. A lot. The problem is the payoff. <laughs> and the fact that Sky Clan's Destiny was a terrible book. You know, you can like Sky Clan's Destiny if you want, but really there was no theme to that book. And that's the problem. Firestar's Quest was pretty good. I wouldn't call it my favorite Super Edition, but it does its job, and it has some interesting scenes and characters. Sky Clan's Destiny, however, is where things fell apart for me. I love Sky Clan and the Stranger, the graphic novel, but Sky Clan's Destiny was just a pain to get through. It, I actually had to make myself read two chapters every night just to get through it because it was so bad. There's no set theme for it, it's just a bunch of side quests strung together in a book. And I do feel like that's where I stopped caring about Sky Clan, because I did care until that book. And yes, I read the whole thing because I felt like it was necessary to justify why I don't like Leaf Star, especially. I don't think she's a very I think she's a very selfish character. But I'll save Leaf Star for another time. The point of the matter is, this isn't a good book to lead on being sympathetic for a clan like Sky Clan. Hawkwing's Journey did a much better job, in my opinion of making Sky SkyClan sympathetic, I really did start to care again. I still feel like I probably didn't care as much as I could have if SkyClan's Destiny had, say, been better or maybe didn't exist, but it did care a little bit more. And I like Hawkwing. 
I, I really, really cannot wait till Hawkstar is a leader. I think he'll be a b much better leader than Leapstar is. <laughs> but anyway, this is just all my opinions. Having SkyClan in the Vision of Shadows arc and now the Broken Code arc, like I said before, I really do love having them at the lake. I do think that they are a nice clan to have. I think that they're very peace-loving, and I think they're needed. They, they provide a lot of balance. They're kind of like River Clan, but less willing to close themselves off, which just makes it... I, I respect River Clan if they want to close off, but I do like that Sky Clan is willing to be involved to have peace instead of just saying, forget it, I'm out. <laughs> you know? I do like that. I just think that's their culture. I also love that they introduced the mediator position. I think it's a neat aspect of SkyClan that they're very flexible because they are kind of a ragtag group of former kitty pets and rogues. I think they understand that whole not having set positions or positions can be flexible and you can pick and choose. And I like that they you know, decide to have a mediator. I think every clan should have a mediator in my opinion, but I love that they provided that for Tree specifically. I think it's a, it's a wonderful addition to the book. And I think it's a cool, just in general, it's really neat. I'd love to see them do more with that. And I, I think that's cool. I also like, too, that they don't make Tree not have a mate either, which is also nice. Because <laughs> I was kind of worried, actually, at first, that they'd treat it more like a medicine cat position. But they don't, which is also nice. And if any clan's probably ever going to let a medicine cat get married, it will probably be Sky Clan <laughs> if any clan ends up doing that. Anyway, so my opinion is that Sky Clan was at its best in Firestar's Quest, Hawkwing's Journey, and in Dawn of the Clans. Dawn of the Clans just. Sky Clan is just kick butt in Dawn of the Clans. And I also think it's just so funny how Thunder Clan is really a product of Wing Clan and Sky Clan and not its own clan. That's just. That's just funny to me. <laughs> I really didn't expect that at all. Uh, it, you know, when I first picked it up, once I saw Clear Sky was the main cat, I'm like, ah, yeah, Sky Clan. <laughs> but, you know, until that point, I was like, huh? You know, I was like, oh, where's Thunder? And I'm like, oh. But yeah. So anyway, I thought that was, those were great. But I think the problem really lies in that Sky Clan, even though all those books were good, SkyClan really should have had its own arc. And I know, hear me out. That's, you know, I think some people would be like, ah, no, not an arc focused on SkyClan. Ugh. And, you know, and Vision of Shadows ended up doing that, but not really. I really think having an arc shoved in between the first arc, the prophecies began, and the new prophecy called SkyClan's Destiny would have been a really satisfying way to tie Sky Clan into the overall plot because unless you've read the super editions and novellas, which most of the people I am in communities with do not read those, uh, like a lot of my friends do not, uh, you're really left kind of confused about what Sky Clan is and where they stand, and you have no real strong grasp on it. I think having Sky Clan be in the arc. So that way all of those super editions and novellas are just supplemental reading or just something a super fan, for instance, could pick up and read or someone who's obsessive like me and has to read everything for some reason. That they could just read those, but you could still read just the arcs and get everything you need out of them. At least that's my opinion. Having an arc like that, I think, would be the best way to do it. So I think, in my opinion, they should have probably taken Cloudstar's journey because I really expected her to be the journey and finding the gorge in that book. That book really disappointed me, which I don't think I mentioned earlier. Yeah, Cloudstar's journey really disappointed me. I really expected it to entail finding the gorge and, you know, just something about that. But instead, it really just felt like, yeah, Skyclan's crumbling and you end up at the same place that you already know the thing happened. So it didn't accomplish much. But I would have loved if they had expanded on Cloudstar... Cloudstar's journey, and instead made it like prologue and epilogue material for the whole arc. And then moved Firestar's quest into that, into that arc. Made it maybe the first two, three books. Sky Clan's destiny 
Take out the whole stick thing and whatever. I don't care. I just... Why did that... Why was that in Sky Clan's Destiny? If you haven't read Sky Clan's Destiny, you're probably super confused because it doesn't amount to much. It's just so confusing. There's no payoff for it. Not even when Hawkwing completely kicks that one cat's butt. It's just ridiculous. You know? Take all that crud out. Make Skyclan's Destiny the, the middle part there. And probably even weave in some part about Soul. So that way at least that's in the plot and you get some foreshadowing. But I also think that could have made things so much more interesting. Because then it could have given Firestar a good send-off as our main protagonist. Because I, I did like him as a protagonist. I know a lot of people are kind of, eh, about Firestar, but he's a good guy. And I think that it could have been really interesting to have him in Sandstorm probably taking the protagonist positions for the first three books. And maybe for the last books, you could have had Leaf Star, Echo Song. I would have even read a book from Sharpclaw. And then have Cloud Star take those prologues and epilogue material. I think Echo Song especially could have been a really interesting protagonist. I, I think she has a lot more to say. I, I really am sad she died. She was so cool, I loved her. But yeah, that's just my opinion. I think doing that would have had a much more satisfying build-up for SkyClan in general to be in the main series. But anyway, that's overall my thoughts. Um, please don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will be back to talk uh, in this segment about and spin the wheel segments about more of the clan dynamics. It's something that's interesting to me and after reading Secrets of the Clans and whatnot, I have some things to say. So anyway, I'll see you guys later. Have a Merry Christmas and enjoy. Bye. <laughs>